So everyone's asking about Nobara versus regular Fedora, and honestly, this is peak, I want Linux, but I don't want the Linux experience energy. Nobara is basically Fedora that went to therapy and came back ready to actually function on your gaming rig. It's maintained by Glorious Eggroll, the same legend who gave us Proton GE, which means this isn't some random person throwing patches at the wall. Here's where it gets interesting. Whew. Fresh Fedora is like buying a sports car without the engine. It's technically amazing, philosophically pure, and completely useless for anything involving proprietary drivers or third-party codecs. Want to watch Netflix? Install codecs. Gaming on NVIDIA? Good luck with that driver hunt. Fedora makes you earn your multimedia experience. Nobara says, what if we just made things work? It ships with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed, gaming optimizations baked in, and all the codecs you actually need. The kernel includes Zen performance patches and laptop-specific optimizations that vanilla Fedora doesn't touch. Your games will literally run better out of the box. But wait, there's more chaos. Nobara recently ditched Firefox for Brave as the default browser. That's either genius or absolutely unhinged depending on your privacy philosophy. They're also moving to a rolling release model, which means you get updates continuously instead of waiting for major version drops. The real difference? time investment. Setting up Fedora for gaming takes hours of package hunting, driver installation, and configuration tweaking. Nobara does this in 20 minutes. You install, update, and you're gaming. It's Fedora for people who have better things to do than debug multimedia codecs. Performance-wise, the optimized kernel actually delivers measurable improvements. Gaming benchmarks show Nobara consistently outperforming vanilla Fedora, especially with the Zen patches doing their magic. The downside? You're trusting one developer's vision of what Fedora should be. If Glorious Egg Roll decides to add cryptocurrency mining to the kernel tomorrow, that's your reality now. Also, troubleshooting becomes weird because you're running modified packages that don't exist in standard repositories. Bottom line, if you want Fedora's cutting-edge technology without the masochistic setup process, Nobara is absolutely nuclear. If you enjoy spending weekends configuring drivers and feel personally attacked by convenience, stick with Vanilla Fedora.